cooperated to the rescue. He spoke? Huh? Quite common for parrots to speak. You see, in the wild, avian voice mimicry functions as a sort of... It's incredible because it's the first words he's spoken in years. He belonged to those kids who disappeared in the caves. You mean, this was the parrot who belonged to the original Mystery Incorporated? <laughs> I trust you enjoyed their little theme song. You'd best stay away from Professor Pericles, kids. Although his brain's no bigger than a cashew, pound for pound, it's the smartest brain in the world. Officer Johnson is quite correct. Now please step aside, Officer Johnson, to free your hand, which mysteriously has become duct tape to your stun gun. But how'd you... <laughs> Clues away, children. Clues that will lead you to the cursed secret that feeds on Crystal Cove. What secret? I'm sure you will find out. Meanwhile, I will dispense this bit of advice. Beware of those closest to you. I'm specifically talking to you, Frederick. That's enough! Visiting hours are over! And you, bird, I'll take care of you later. Will you? Really? No. For years, I'd heard about the curse and the supposed haunted treasure. That was the reason I came to Crystal Cove. I'd been accepted to Darrow University's History Department, which gave me access to the town archives. When I found the story about the conquistadors that disappeared, I decided to disguise myself and begin my search for the planispheric disk. Sadly, I found nothing, until Mystery Incorporated walked into the library seeking advice. They had no idea what they'd found. Well, that wasn't true. Actually, their mascot knew. For access to my knowledge, Pericles was willing to betray his friends. We concocted a scheme to blackmail the kids into leaving town by threatening them with fabricated documents, implicating their parents in various crimes. They were unaware of my true identity, but I still had one loose end. Pericles had to go. I placed an anonymous call to the police, implicating him in the kid's disappearance. By the time Pericles woke, he was already in custody. He was sentenced to spend the rest of his miserable parrot life where he belonged, in a cage. Professor Pericles? A pleasure to meet you, my clover-toed comrade. So it had to be under such dire circumstances. Fortunately for Crystal Cove, I'm here to help. You are? Oh, I know what you are thinking. Why would I ever deign to help those who locked me up like a common beast, despite the power of my diabolical mind? Uh, not exactly what I was thinking, but... As much as I enjoy seeing my captors tormented, I will not let my home be destroyed by some tarded up hippie. The only question that remains is, will you help me? It was I who gave Aphrodite the secret formula. Once that was accomplished, I could go after the real ingredients I needed to find. First, an ancient Conquistador ship manifest. Next, that stone-piercing industrial-grade diamond drill bit. And finally, the geological reports from the Darrow Mining Company. Your move, Mr. E. Hello, Ed Machine. What are you doing here? I'd like you to deliver a message to Ricky. Oh! Should I call him Mr. E? Say what you want to say, Pericles. Then get out of my house. <laughs> Dear Ed, you misunderstand. I don't want to say anything. It's the freak! Sorry, 
to disappoint. Professor Pericles, how did you... Track on the mystery machine. Isn't this cozy? Us? Alone? No one to watch over you? Or your piece of the disc? Why do you want the disc so bad? They lead to a treasure beyond calculation, dear Scooby. A treasure many have died trying to find. We're not scared of you. Yes, we are. Ow! What an amusing turn of events. Die? Pericles. Don't be afraid, Scooby. I've no reason to hurt you. I have what I came for. <laughs> the mayor's peace. You have it. Two down, four to go. Until we meet again, auf Wiedersehen, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I am the smartest criminal parrot in the world. You didn't think I have a backup plan? <laughs> Until we meet again. Auf Wiedersehen, Mystery Incorporated. I'm glad you came. I wasn't sure you would. Of course, Ricky. I'm happy you invited me. To a future of unimaginable wealth. To the treasure. For with it, we shall rule the world. A meeting of this momentous importance deserves some mood music. Remember, all you listeners out there, something bad is going down in Crystal Cove. And by down, I mean underneath. Watch out for any foul play, especially of the feathered kind. Ah, oh, Cassidy, if we are to continue... She will need to be silenced forever. Agreed. Forever. Professor Pericles! Ah, lovely. I see you have met what's left of Frau Gluck. I met Frau Gluck in Bavaria in the 1930s. She discovered the missionaries possessed the fifth and the sixth pieces of the planispheric disk. She built this lab and a host of robots to aid her search for the pieces. I finally found this lab and continued the Frau's work, building a legion of her Kriegstaffer bots to retrieve the pieces for me. My holographic masquerade as Frau Glück bought my bots all the time they needed. And I would have gotten away with eliminating Cassidy if it weren't for you meddling kids. Now that I have everything I need, I can dispose of this place and all of you at the same time. Farewell, darling kinder. Farewell. This macabre herd of skull cattle you've created is costing millions of Destroido's money. My money. And I currently have 28 of my best scientists listed as presumed missing. No! No! Ah! Make that 29. Ricky, one cannot make a genius omelette without breaking a few worthless eggs. Right, Brad and Judy? You said it, Professor Pericles. He's a genius, right, Brad? He sure is, Judy. He sure is. And make no mistake, Ricky. I will break any egg that gets in my way. At Machine, Cassidy Williams, or perhaps even you. Ricky, what have you done? I've been locked out of the system. I know. I did it on purpose. You're out of control, Professor Pericles, and I'm putting a stop to it. I'm in charge. I built Destroido from the ground up while you were cooling your beak in prison. It's time that I... You are in charge of nothing, Ricky Owens. You have never been anything other than an idiotic human mascot. A shoulder for me to perch upon. So you see, Professor Pericles, it's over. You're not the boss here. I am. And you're out of the group. Oh, Ricky, Ricky. My loyal Brad and Judy taught me of your little mutiny. So, last night, while you were asleep, I put mutated cobra larvae in your spine. Every time I press this button, a literal venom is released. So, as you can see, or feel, 
I'm still very much in control. You do as I say. First, we steal the planet's ferric disk from the kinder. Then, we destroy them. <laughs> you failed, Professor. You'll never get your filthy talons on this disk. On the contrary, Frederick. You are going to hand it over to me, along with my associates, your dear parents. Or else, I will destroy the one thing you care about most. Zoinks! <laughs> Fine. You win. Take it. Excellent. Auf Wiedersehen, you beautiful kinder. Und Ricky, when the entrance is found, have my Kriegstaffer boss destroy all the workers. They have outlived their usefulness. You monster! I'm not your trained monkey. I won't do it. I won't be a part of this madness anymore. Yes, the prop, master. Whatever you command, I will have the Kriegstaffer bots destroy them all. Not one person from Crystal Gold will be left alive. All right, young Mystery Incorporated. I know you out there, and you have the key. <gasps> Even if the Mystery Incorporated kids are out there, what makes you think you can make them do what you want? <laughs> Because, my dear Ricky... Everyone has their weakness. Öffnen Sie den Karton! Marcy! No! Good Kinder. Now come cooperate and I will not harm the hot dog water. I'll do it. I'll go. No. We all go together. No splitting up. Never again. Mom, Dad, Son. Ah, the Force Key. I knew you had found them. Here, allow my Creek Stuffer bots to open the gate. It is very dangerous. I don't need your help, Pericles. As you wish, Frederick. You make me sick, Pericles. I wish I had never saved you all those years ago. Hmm. Do I care? No. Maybe you should care. Perhaps you should care more about the poisonous cobra larvae implanted in your spine. Now, let's move. My plan, ruined by those meddling kinder, they will pay. All of them, they will pay. <laughs>